everybody! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Foxy and this is Foxy Books and Planning. Today I am doing a plan with me for the first week of the year in my daily inserts. Um, last year I used this as just my work planner. However, with the joys of quarantine, um, my personal planner just isn't really practical right now. And I really do prefer just having one planner. So I'm going to try doing a hybrid work home planner in these inserts for a couple of weeks. And I wanted to show you how I plan in this. I would show you um, some of the previous weeks if I could with, cause I do do a color coding system with my work stuff, um, but I can't for confidentiality reasons. Um, but basically what I do is black. So like I have a pilot fountain pen with just black pilot ink in it for home. And then admin stuff has a color and each project has its own specific color. So for meetings and to-do list items, I know what project those items go to. And if I use this to keep track of my time card, I would put little hash marks on the sides of these hours to tell me how I was spending my time color wise. Um, so I did already start laying down some stickers. There was a bit of a camera snafu the first time I tried to film this. So I did start with my normal stickers that I use in this planner. Um, so these are the work from home stickers from Right Brain Paper Co. And then I use primarily Huda Lally Day gold foil stickers for work stuff. So I was flipping through to put stuff in. So I did my Hello Monday sticker. And then for the weekend, I did my two to-do stickers, and then I did my goals and my little um, chopper, because I'll chop this into a couple of different sections. And then I will use this weekend sticker, because I'm trying to use up stickers. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about these inserts yet. They are a bit of a format change from the previous ones. I'll take the first line so I can do the weekend. Um, they are a bit of a format change from the previous stuff. Um, mainly in the, in the to-do list area on the old inserts the to-do list started at the top and this month thing was down at the bottom. I don't really like the week month view thing. Um, I normally cover it with a box um, but I would prefer to just have that deleted entirely and have the to-do list moved up in a bigger blank space down at the bottom. Nothing else there. Um, I also have these send email stickers from Highland Bell Plans that I put on Friday when I send follow-up emails to all the people I need to follow up with on a weekly basis. So then we get to these, which are my little workout indicators for when I work out during the day. So this will go... Here. I do like how they did split these into half hour increments. Previously it was just hour increments, so I do really appreciate that. And I do two short workouts a day. This one will probably be about here. And then Tuesday. Here. And here. And I will write some of these in based on my fitness app, but um, my fitness app thing resets on Thursday, so there's no point in me marking anything before or after Thursday. So it goes here, and this one will go here. And this day it's whenever. Um, in case you hear me mumbling or see my arms, I have my, um, tablet with my work schedule, um, on the north side of, or on the top side of the camera. So that is where I am preaching. And then this will be the same. So next are my daily to-dos. So I'll use the little asterisk to put the title of my little daily work to-do list. Um, if I had multiple projects that had daily to-dos, I would do a separation and then multiple checklists. Um, I had a time earlier, not earlier, this year, um, in 
second or third quarter last year where I had two big projects going on at the same time. So I used two little checklists with a break in between each day. I will still put a break, but now it is to break between the daily checklist and work. And this is next week, which goes on the goals, which goes on the weekend page. This is just to remind me of things for work for next week. And that will get one of my backstock cart checklists. Um, these are to make sure I carry them forward, just so you understand. All right. I think... Normally I would use these guys, these little strips, to separate my checklists, but because I have these big bows that were free in a mystery pack, or not free, I got them in a mystery pack. I've used them before as well. Um, I'll use these instead because I do want to cycle out of these before I start to go to the big, big sheets. And they're clear, so that's totally awesome. Eh, don't pull too hard, you may rip your stickers. Come on, you can do this. There we go. So, I'm kind of nervous to see how this goes considering it is daily and I'm worried I will lose sight of things, but we will see. Like I said, I'm just trialing this as a combo planner for now. I can always go back to using both. I just don't really want to go back to using both if I can help it. Don't need these, don't need these, or those. Mm, I don't need that right now. I need to make a note there about that. Well, uh, we'll leave that there. I use my next week. All right, meetings. The sticker I use probably the most. I have a ton of these. Well, let's see, so I have a meeting here. And I like these because they're thin enough that they will fit in the um, half hour slots. I have some bare ones for when I have longer meetings, but I don't really have that many long meetings. At least not consistently. Oops. That doesn't work. Eh, I'll make myself a little arrow to fix that. There and then here. here. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm focusing. Um on what these lines are. As you can see, like Thursdays and Fridays are lighter, and Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays are heavier for me in terms of meetings, but I like it that way. Those, don't need those. Oh, I thought I had blocked time off. I need to remember this, so that's not gonna all work. <sighs> need an appointment label, that's what I need for that. No. Alex. It's too late, isn't it? Well, I don't know which one's right. I'll just leave it like that for now as I flip through. Sorry, I realized I have stickers that specifically say handover, and one of my meetings this week is handover, but I seem to have duplicated it on my calendar, so I have to figure out which one is correct before I go on, and then these are... I have lots of meeting stickers because I go through them quickly. And then my coffee stickers. These start every day at the very beginning. Because what is a day without a cup of coffee? No. Uh, it could be worse. I found that I do like the 
hourly though. I didn't think I would because it's so granular and I tend to be a much bigger picture person. But I have found, at least when it comes to work, I do need this level of granularity with the number of meetings. And yeah, I could use um, the email server and the digital calendar and stuff. But I'm always one of those people where I would much rather have things written down in hard copy somewhere. Um, in case things like I lose access to my email, that way I still know when I have meetings. Or... Um, I have five million things open and miss my reminder. I have a thing there to tell me what's going on. So I've done those. So now I need to put in my extra things. Not that. Um, I don't use date covers in this right now just because of the size. I did look at purchasing some of the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Words. Um, kits that are specifically made for daily planners. Um, but I didn't particularly care for many of them. What the heck, guys? There's one. Sorry, I'm looking for particular stickers. Um, that's what I was looking for. Cover that. And then we'll do a hydrate. And have a tracker. That's terribly placed, but it's okay. And then we'll go back. I'm just going to cover up these Januarys with some stuff. So I don't have to pick at those because they drive me nuts. Any more of those? Do I want to use my decorative ones for Thursday and Friday? Yeah, because I don't have as much stuff going on. So in theory, it might be okay to use these. This is the Good Morning Kit from Planner Me. Um, this is actually meant for a full horizontal planner, but I do what I want. Alright, so then the next thing is to take a page with all these checklist boxes. And add a checklist box here for home. And oh god, I'm terrible at placing these today. It's okay. I'll get better. Alright, so there is that. And then I did have some appointments I did not want to forget. And a bill. Alright, so here. Yeah, well, I'll just have to reschedule that. So that will go there. And then that goes over there. That, that, and then I will steal one of my bajillion bill dues. Put that up here. All right, and now to do some decorating. Slash mark some stuff so I don't forget. Um, I do plan on doing this, my monthly spread, later. Um, I do actually have a kit ordered for January, but it hasn't been shipped yet. So I might not get to do that. I'll just have to manually, or not manually, do it not with the kit I had, I had hoped to do, use. Alright. Decor things.
that just needs to go back. I do also keep some stuff in the back, like the rescheduled and stuff that I don't typically use when I'm making my planner, but I do end up using other times. So let's see. Do I want to use any of these? Not really. Do you want to use this guy? So I would like. Make him a goalie thing. A goalie thing. Jesus Christ, I sound stupid. Um, sorry. Don't mind me talking to myself. Let's see. This, my little owl with all the letters can go on Friday. And the coffee owl can go on tomorrow. Because I'm going to need coffee owl tomorrow. Oh, no, no. Did want that. Or this guy. Do, 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 do. I don't know how much decor I'm gonna actually use. Because I really need to go back through and see what I have because it's been so long since I've used any of this that I forget what I have. And I don't want to make you guys sit here and flip through every group listing. That one's pretty. I'll be able to fit here. Oh, I can pull those though if I can find them again. Haha. -ha. No. Haha. -ha. These are my Highbell Plans little super thin listy stickers. I love these guys so much. I might actually need to get some more. So let's see. I know I need to do at least two of these, but I'm not certain which ones. So I'll put these to the side so I can put little notes about the videos I want to do. Huzzah! And then I know here I need a little edit. I need like an entire sheet of just these absolutely micro edit stickers. So I have four currently that need to be edited. So that's four edits. Huzzah! And then I will figure out what to do. Well, actually, <laughs> one a day is probably pushing it. But yeah. Um, I did also want to do, well I have, oh no, what did I do? Well, I guess I have these two. Instagram post. Gosh dang it. 
Yeah, I'll just use one of these because I do have a thing I don't want to forget here. And I think I'm going to call it quits today with it like this. So the finished spread looks like this. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday in the weekend. Um, I will go back in and fill this in with my pen here in a minute, or my pens here in a minute. Um, but like I said, I can't really do that because I've got work stuff in here. Um, I will try and po keep get back to posting these spreads once a week on Instagram so you can kind of see as I develop a kind of style to do these with. Um, hopefully it does not take me too long to figure out what kind of style I want to do with these. But either way, um, please do comment down below if you like the idea of using a hourly daily planner um, for both work and home at the same time. If you have any tips or tricks for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, if you have any likes or dislikes for these kinds of videos or things you'd like to see me talk about while I do my weekly plans, um, please let me know as well. And as always, do like and subscribe, and I hope to chat at y'all in another video. Bye!